That first time I got in a small boat, a 16 foot boat, and you pull up alongside a 50 foot whale and you feel how big they are and how incredible they are. That was like, wow, I did it. I'm a whale person. My name is Tammy Silva. I'm from Fall River, Massachusetts. I work at NOAA's Stellwagen Bank National Marine Sanctuary, and my job title is Research Marine Ecologist. I am a type of scientist that studies ecology. So ecology is the study of how living things interact with their environment. Living things could be plants, could be animals, could be people. And I'm a marine ecologist, so I study how animals that live in the ocean interact with their environment. So we ask questions like, how deep do whales dive? Or where do seabirds go on their migrations and why? And we get to use all kinds of cool technologies to study this stuff. We use underwater robots to take images of the seafloor and sample the environment. We use drones to take images and samples from animals. We put tags on whales and birds to study their behavior and where they go. Nice, Tammy! Perfect! And because we work with sanctuaries, all of the questions we're asking, all of the science we're doing is all geared toward conservation. So we are studying animals and the environment so that we can protect animals and the environment. I have always loved the ocean, grew up going to the beach with my family, always loved animals, and I also loved nature and just thinking about how things work. In school, loved science. I took a marine science class in high school. We had this great thing called the Traveling Sea Lab where we had lots of uh, animals, we raised them, we took them to elementary schools and gave presentations. So that was my first start in thinking about marine science was really cool and that could be something I'd be interested in. In college, I did some different kinds of research. I did molecular biology. Also in college, I started volunteering at a local zoo and that was it. I was convinced I was gonna be a zookeeper or work in an aquarium. I loved working with animals. I loved communicating about conservation, that the animals that were there were like representatives for their wild counterparts and we were teaching the public about how important animals were. But at the end of college, my advisor said, maybe you want to get a master so that later in life you have more career opportunities. So I thought, okay. I went to UMass Dartmouth for my master's, did some more molecular work. And by the time I was done, I knew that I loved science. I loved that process of figuring things out and being the first person to discover something. But I also knew I wanted to go back to like the ocean and animals and and back to like my childhood loves. So I spent the next three years volunteering anywhere I could, just, just getting experience because I had none in that field. So I worked collecting data on whale watching vessels. I worked with stranding organizations, rescuing and necropsying or autopsying marine mammals that washed up on the beach, learning about why they were there. Eventually figured out I wanted to go back for the PhD to study whales, my favorite animal and I learned about the NOAA Dr. Nancy Foster Scholarship. I applied, I worked really closely with the folks at Stellwagen Bank National Marine Sanctuary to do my research and then was offered a job and been there ever since. For so long, I, I wanted to be a whale person. I wanted to be a person that studied whales and it took so long to do it and I had to persevere through so many things and keep going and you know, that first time I got in a small boat, a 16 foot boat, and you pull up alongside a 50 foot whale and you feel how big they are and how incredible they are. That was like, wow, I did it. I'm a whale person. I think the most important piece of advice I could give is do not listen to anyone that tells you you cannot do something. When I first decided to get into this field of marine science, I had people say, oh, that's really competitive, that's really hard, or what are you gonna do with that? What kind of job are you gonna get with that? Or even, you shouldn't be doing that, you should be a doctor or a veterinarian and, and make more money because I had really good grades in school, so why not go the doctor route? But I loved whales and didn't listen, did what I had to do, and now I have one of the coolest jobs in the world. <laughs>